The deaths of three U.S. service members at a military base in Jordan on Sunday will not go unanswered, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin told reporters Thursday. Despite fears, a U.S. response could escalate regional tensions. So this is a dangerous moment in the Middle East. We will continue to work to avoid a wider conflict in the region. But we will take all necessary actions to defend the United States, our interests, and our people. And we will respond when we choose, where we choose, and how we choose. Iran-backed militants have carried out 166 attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq, Syria, and Jordan since the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel. Iran has denied responsibility for the attack that killed three U.S. service members and says it is not deterred by a potential U.S. response. You know that we do not leave any threats unanswered. Well, we are not looking for war. We are not afraid of war, and we do not run away from it. On Capitol Hill, some Democratic senators are concerned a U.S. response could rapidly escalate a military conflict before lawmakers have a chance to authorize war. This is an escalating war in the Middle East. The U.S. is getting drawn more and more into it. There's no congressional authorization for the U.S. participation in another war in the Middle East, so the time is probably now right for Congress to begin that discussion. But lawmakers also recognize the need for a strong U.S. response. Anyone who attacks the troops and puts Americans in harm's way is going to do everything we can to defend our, uh, our citizens and our troops especially. And let uh, them know that this is not going to be tolerated and they'll have to pay extreme prices for it. Earlier this week, top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell said the Biden administration's policies had increased the threat posed by Iran. For three years. The threat of Iran-backed terror against American personnel and interests in the Middle East has been growing. Iran is emboldened and believes it can use its proxies to attack America with impunity. And the Biden administration has hastened this erosion of deterrence. Their public hand-wringing and fear of escalation sends exactly the wrong message to Tehran. And other Republican lawmakers said Thursday any response should be carefully calibrated. I'd like to know the president has a plan to, to, to not just stop this, but to put the in a position they will never do this again. The U.S. has responded to previous attacks on U.S. service members with actions including an October strike on a weapons storage site in Syria used by Iranian-backed militias. Catherine Gibson.